Thanks for checking out Scotty's Hobbies. Today we're looking at this 2020 Hyundai Accent with a 1.6 liter engine in it. This underhood label right here lets you know what emissions components are on your vehicle. The bottom line right there that was circled, that's the actual components, but that label gives you some other important information such as the engine family and the emissions family numbers. Right here on top you have your emissions vapor purge solenoid. This solenoid is responsible or could be responsible for many codes. What this does is allows fuel vapors or emissions vapors out of your EVAP system to go into the intake system and be reburnt through the ignition process and pushed out the exhaust through the catalytic converters. This solenoid can come up with codes such as P0443, a P0441, P0464, or a P0455. Again, this is your emissions vapor purge solenoid. If you're having issues pumping fuel, this would not be the vapor solenoid to look at. Later on in this video, I'll show you the location of your vapor vent solenoid. Remember to like, subscribe, and share while you're watching. Comment below with the year, make, and model of the vehicle that this will help you on, or this video has helped you on. Next, we have your EGR valve. This valve allows burnt exhaust gases going through the exhaust to be repurposed or reburnt through the ignition or combustion process again. This solenoid or valve is mainly here for efficiency. Uh, it, it increases the fuel efficiency of the vehicle. It makes you lose a little bit of power, but for the efficiency that you gain, it is a good give and take. Your EGR valve can be responsible for codes such as a P0401, a P0400, P0404, a P0403, or maybe a P0402, and some other codes as well. If the EGR valve itself is good, then you might have clogged EGR ports or possibly a bad wiring harness going to the EGR itself, or if you have a different vehicle such as a Ford, that's a completely different story and maybe we shouldn't go there on this one. But this is your exhaust gas recirculation valve. If you need any of the parts shown in this video, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase those as well. And again, like, subscribe, and share. This vehicle was one that was given to us to do some minor maintenance on, but have to take advantage of it and make some good videos. Trying to find the best way to get you a good view of your oxygen sensors. Coming up from the bottom, I have the vehicle jacked up a tad bit to get up here. You're going to find your oxygen sensors. Right here is your pre-catalytic converter oxygen sensor, also known as your bank one, center one oxygen sensor. This oxygen sensor measures your air fuel ratio going into the catalytic converter or coming out of the engine, I should say. On a newer vehicle like this, this actually might be a air fuel ratio sensor. But either way, this sensor measures the air or fuel exiting the engine through the exhaust stream and tells that information to the computer so the computer knows how much fuel to give or take away from the engine to maximize efficiency and power when needed. Your pre-cat oxygen sensor could be responsible for codes such as a P0131, maybe a P0135, a P0130, or a P0132, and many other codes as well. You could get lean uh, problems with a faulty oxygen sensor. Make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase if you need one. Here is your Bank 1 Sensor 2 oxygen sensor. This oxygen sensor is the oxygen sensor that is used to measure the efficiency of the catalytic converter. So, if you have a code such as a P0420, a P0421, a P0136, a P0137, this oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor might be giving the wrong information to the computer, making it think that your catalytic converter is bad. With newer vehicles like this, we are finding out or seeing that the rear oxygen sensors are actually getting a lot smarter and the cats are actually going bad. So, 
your rear O2 could be bad, but your CAT is probably going to be bad if it's showing you a, a CAT efficiency code on a vehicle such as this. If you are in California, make sure you get a California or a CARB compliant catalytic converter to replace if you do have one of those codes. And good luck. Hopefully the oxygen sensor is the problem. Again, there should be a link in the description below to purchase these parts if needed. And make sure you like, subscribe, and share while you're watching this video. Comment below with the year, make, and model of the vehicle that you're working on. And make sure you tell your friends that you found me and I'm pretty helpful. So, thanks for watching. Let's get going. Moving towards the back of the vehicle, you're going to find more emissions components on this vehicle. And actually, it looks like there might be a rear catalytic converter on this vehicle. If you do have a catalytic converter efficiency code, you only need to worry about the cat between the oxygen sensors. Right here, you're going to find your emissions vapor vent solenoid or vent valve. This is the solenoid or valve that is responsible for allowing fuel vapors to release into the atmosphere. This valve is used when pumping gas so the fuel system does not overpressurize or the vapor system does not overpressurize. It will release vapors ambient or into the atmosphere. This sensor or valve, it's not a sensor, it is a valve actually. This valve could be responsible for codes such as a P0496, a P0449, or a P0445 probably a couple other codes as well, but this is your emissions vapor vent solenoid. If you need to a component or a tool, I should say, to pull codes and figure out what codes are actually making your check engine light turn on, make sure you look for a link in the description below to purchase that as well. There should be a OBD2 uh, Bluetooth reader in there that I use, um, but it would be very helpful for you to keep in your car. Right next to your vent solenoid, you're going to have the emissions vapor canister itself. These rarely go bad. I've only seen them go bad when they get visually cracked, like in an accident or some road debris flying up under the vehicle and hitting it somehow. But this is the vapor canister. This traps or holds the emissions vapors so they could be later pushed into the engine and burnt through the combustion process as more breathable air, I should say. That's going to be it for the emissions vapor component locations on this 2020 Hyundai Accent. This should be the same, if not very similar to the Accent from, I believe, 2017 to now. So 2021, or 2020, I should say. If this video helped you out, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. As I said a bunch of times in this video, comment below. And hopefully I'll see you on the next hopefully helpful video. Thanks for watching.